cheesy bites cheesy cheesy bites yo and um today i'm going to show you how to make this beautiful mini crossbow let's get started well, these are the materials required popsicle sticks into eight but i recommend into ten for safety a cutting blade <coughs> uh, a cutter a strong cutter well, but if you are well built, you can use a scissor. That would do. Um, a rubber adhesive. I recommend Fevi Bond. Thread. Sharpie. Sketch pens or any ordinary sketch pens. And the most important thing, super glue. But I really recommend very quick. Then a ruler. It can be 15 centimeter or 30 centimeter. Let. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I forgot a main content. Well, this is the printer you need for accurate uh, cutting of the popsicle stick. You don't need to um, st uh, use the last part. You just need to use the first two. I will teach you. That's the easiest method. Now, let's get started. Step one. Mark the uh, popsicle stick with the pencil along the lines so that you can get accurate measures that will make, <laughs> that will make it easy uh, that would help you to do the crossbow more easily and swiftly. Okay, this is how you do it. You, sh you, you should do all of this and then finally you'd reach to a stage like this. Well, we have used only seven if you, if you had counted this because we are kind of, we have, we have practiced this a lot and we are using uh, only one uh, popsicle stick for the second one. That's why we have drawn four lines. If you want to save some popsicle sticks, then you might want to just follow us. Or you could use two. It's up to your choice. Well, this is how it should look. Um, now, guys, you might need two of the uh, broken clips. As we are skipping the last two steps, the, uh, those two steps make the crossbow really fragile. We don't want a crossbow that's fragile, right? So we use these clips, which makes the crossbow look like that you really want a crossbow like that right so you better need these two clips it makes it strong and it does not break as you can see let me just drop it see but if you see it doesn't break that's these two clips make the crossbow really strong next up you need here comes the role of the cutting blade you cut out the popsicle sticks perfectly with the cutting blade or the scissor. It's about your talent and your skill. But I prefer the um, cutting blade. See? It just like that. The edges are kind of smooth. You can keep on cutting all of that. And then finally you should get something like this is yeah this is how it should look like if it's not like this then sorry buddy you have got it wrong now off to the next step comes the next step now you take the two smaller pieces that is the limb support pieces and then then take the two um, uh, uh, to clip the broken clips and then use the super glue to stick them something like this you apply it Apply the super glue, then you stick it. Okay. It, this might take some time. Then apply super glue again. Again, take another broken clip, please. Clip, please. Okay, let's see how this has come out. Finally, it should look somewhat like this. Next off, you want to apply some more super glue and then take the second limb support piece. That is the second part. First, we had applied one, right? Then now use the second one and, um, and stick it on top of that, like that. So that it gives some support to the, uh, to the happens. Or hair clips, broken hair clips, I don't know. After it looks somewhat like this, you might want to keep it aside and get ready for the next step. 
After that, you might want to take the rail stick, that is this one, and take some more super glue, put it on top of that, slowly and steadily. You don't want your hands with that, seriously. Then you take the um, um, then you take the railroad spacer I guess and then you stick it on top of that in such a way that it looks like that. Leave a little space that would increase the air resistance of the crossbow. Want to stick it hard and hold it there for something around 20 seconds. After that's done and wait for something around 10 seconds then again take the inner grip uh, that stick apply super glue take the inner grip stick and stick it firmly no gap must be there between the rail spacer and the inner grip and you want to hold it like that no maybe I think you should leave a little gap for safety reasons if you stick it too close then um, uh, if it falls down it may break my bad I made a mistake now take the another rail piece and um, put very quick on the top of the like a gun, gun shape of thing you had made previously and just stick the rail on top of that after doing that it should look something like this If this is how it looks like, then you're good to go. Or else, please defer the previous steps properly and do it again. Hold it for something around 10 seconds and then you're ready to do the next step. Now, take the outer grip piece. Again, put some super glue that is very quick on the grip piece. And then you stick it. Oh no, sorry, sorry. Yeah, you stick it something like, you stick it like that. Yeah. I give a lot of pressure or else it won't stick. It should look something like that. Again, put some more super glue on the other side and then take another outer grip piece and stick it. Stick it hard. You gotta give it a lot of pressure. Now comes the important part. This takes a lot of concentration. Now you apply glue on the center of this piece. That's the first kind of bow kind of thingy we made in the beginning. You apply glue in the center, you must act fast. Then you place this on the center perfectly and you put pressure perfectly. Even if you miss it, then it's boom. That's it, you're gone. You gotta do it from the beginning. So apply pressure and do it carefully or else it's doomsday for you. Well guys, now you got to use um, the thread for reinforcements. Uh, the thread plays a really important role in making of a crossbow. If it's not there, then um, it becomes really fragile and um, you, you don't have a good accuracy. The thread plays a really important role. So I recommend that you don't skip this step. You got to roll the thread slowly and you should make sure that it doesn't miss even one millimeter of the popsicle stick. As you can see, as you can see, he's doing, I'm doing it perfectly, slowly, and I'm not even missing a millimeter. See?
See? After you have finished rolling the thread, it should look something like that. Next to the next step. Then again you apply some super glue on top of the thread. Apply it. Then Apply it and then let it dry. Now, after that's dried up, now you want to take a rubber band and cut it so that it looks something like that. See? Now you put one end into one end of one of the broken clips, tie it hard. A strong double knot is the method I suggest. Then again put super glue on the edge for safety so that it doesn't tear off and come apart and it sticks together with the hair clip. And please put um, an old newspaper below so that you don't get scoldings from your mom or someone else or your roommate. And then attach it to the other end like that. This is one of the important steps for making the crossbow. This, this thing can really get your nerves. And then you should be tying it after that. Then, voila! Your beautiful cross, crossbow, mini crossbow is ready. And it works smoothly. Peace out! Thanks for watching, watching guys! Peace out! Subscribe and like this video for more daily content. Let's see if we can reach at least 10 likes for this video. Peace out, homies.